Hi friends, I'm out for another hike today. It's a beautiful, quiet day on the preserve that I'm hiking. And I thought we'd read another quiet nonfiction book. Today's book is called A Seed is Sleepy by Diana Hutz Aston and Sylvia Long. A seed is sleepy. It lies there, tucked inside its flower or on its cone, or beneath the soil, snug, still. A seed is secretive. It does not reveal itself too quickly. Most seeds sleep through a season or two, waiting for the warmer temperatures of spring, but some take their time. 10 years might pass before the bright red orange seed of the Texas mountain laurel shows its purple blooms. A seed is fruitful. 90% of the plants on earth are flowering plants. Flowering plants produce fruits, fruits of all shapes and textures that keep the seeds cozy until they have found the right place to grow. A seed is naked. Yes, naked. Scientists call gymnosperm seeds that aren't clothed in fruits, naked seeds. Most naked seeds hide themselves on the scales of cones until they're ready to make a dash for the ground. Who would guess that a seed as small as a freckle would grow into the world's tallest tree? Only 10% of redwood trees begin as seeds though. Most redwood trees spring from existing trees. Seeds come in many sizes. The orchid seed is the smallest of all. There might be a million seeds in one pod. The seed of the coco de mer palm is the largest. It can weigh up to 60 pounds. A seed is adventurous. It must strike out even on its own in search of a less crowded place to put down roots. A parachute of fine, silky hairs can take a dandelion seed a hundred miles from its parent plant. Drift seeds float on ocean currents from one shore to another. They have enough air inside to help them float, and their thick protective shells keep out seawater. A seed is inventive. To find a spot to grow, a seed might leap from its pod or cling to a child's shoestring or tumble through a bear's belly. A seed hopes to land where it, there is plenty of sunlight, soil, and water. A seed is generous. It gives the baby plant or embryo a seed coat to keep it warm. The embryo's first meal comes from the seed leaves or cotyledons. Seeds with one seed leaf like corn are called monocots. Seeds with two seed leaves like beans are called dicots. Some seeds are ancient. Not all seeds are eager to germinate. Some have lain dormant or slept undisturbed for more than a thousand years. The oldest known seed to sprout came from an extinct date palm tree after it was unearthed from a long ago king's mountaintop palace in Israel. A scientist planted it four weeks later. It sprouted. A seed is thirsty and hungry. Once a seed has shed its coat, it drinks in the rain and dew and yesterday's icicles. It feasts on minerals in the soil. Parts of the seed, the root, feels the tug of gravity and digs down deep. Another part of the seed, the shoot, is sensitive to light, so it reaches for the sun. A seed is clever. It knows to seek the sunlight, to push itself up, up, up 
through the soil, but it must wait a while before that happens. Plants make their own food through a process called photosynthesis. Inside plant leaves, the cells containing chemicals that absorb sunlight, light gives them the energy they need to turn water and carbon dioxide, a gas that's in the air, into food. A seed is sleepy, but only until it has found a place in the sun. It has had its breakfast and a drink of water. Then a seed is awake. Maybe while you're spending some time outside with your families, you might find some seeds that are waiting to sprout into beautiful plants. I'd love to hear all about your adventures while we're not together. See you soon, friends.